while we may not strictly enforce five-day isolation periods as we once did, I really do think that people should be strongly encouraged to continue to use the tools that we have available to us and to not only stay home when we know we are individually sick so we don't spread it to others, but not pressure others to come to work just because uh, the, the CDC may say that five days may not be strictly as necessary as it once was. I think it is valuable to keep those isolation guidelines in place for healthcare workers. Um, I don't want to necessarily send, though, the signal to the general public that somehow we now think that you are no longer capable of spreading this disease uh, just because it's been two or three days since you first found out that you were infected. I think it's really important that we have to stress that that is still a possibility and people who in particular are going to visit you know, elderly relatives or relatives with health conditions uh, may want to take additional precautions to make sure they don't inadvertently spread an infection. My biggest worry in all of this is that employers will take this change in guidance to uh, require employees to come back to work after they've discovered that they're infected before they are ready to, before uh, they feel well enough to do that, and um, before they are not likely to pose harm to their coworkers. That's the scenario that I worry most about. And so I would very much encourage employers to see that as a very short-sighted and problematic approach to take.